Hey guys, so it's been a while since I posted my last things MMOers can relate to, but you all made it abundantly clear that you wanted more, so here is more! Thank you guys for offering further relatable things that I missed. If you see yours on the list, you made me laugh, and if you still don't see yours on the list, put it in the comments below and you can see it in the next video. So without further ado, here are even more common themes I've found between MMOs. Hey, savior of the world, over here. I need you to go outside the town and kill and then collect 10 spider eyes. Why? I don't know. Reasons. And once you're done with that, could you please collect 20 more? Oh, you're finished with that? Cool, I need you to go get the large spider eyes now. Ah, you're done with that too? Great job, hero. Now go get me the eyes from the super duper hairy giant spider elite over there. Welcome back. Now I need you to go get me the eyes of the... And speaking of honeydew lists from games, let's discuss the drop rates. Why the hell does it take pillaging through an entire population of wolves to get one wolf pelt? I can't tell you how many times I have spent more time than necessary trying to find that one magical thing that'll drop what you need. I've murdered more than is necessary to complete these quests. Give it to me. I think most of us can relate to this, even if we're not MMOers, but I literally can't stand when there's a new game that's coming out. And hear me out. So you have this super amazing, fantastical game being presented to you and you feel your fingers twitching to play it and you're ready, like so ready. Your soul is ready for this game to be in your life, but you know what? You're gonna have to wait another three years. Oh, and when it reaches the release date, prepare to have it delayed due to something or rather, or even worse, canceled. Have you ever had that happen? Just me? Hmm? So your MMO just got an expansion or just released. Well, kiss your free time goodbye. Mwah after sitting in queue for hours. I think most of us have tried playing an MMO that just didn't have the server space forever and trying to jam their virtual bodies in all at once. It's great when our favorite games get a new expansion or when a new one comes out, but why are they never really prepared for us to come at them all at once? Let me in, let me in. We just want to taste the freshness. Welcome to the new and exciting world of this current MMO you've stepped into. Look at its huge tracts of lands and all those rolling hills and lush forests abound and varying terrain levels. Boy, you're gonna have a lot of fun walking for the next 20 levels to every bloody quest that stretches all over this region and beyond. I'm pretty tired. I'll go home I would walk 500 miles just seems to play on repeat in my head as I'm hoofing it to every corner of the game until I can unlock a mount or faster running speeds. But let me tell you, once you achieve it, that 20% difference is like getting a mental foot massage. I love it when you come up to a town and they're under attack by a horde of monsters but the NPCs are standing there smiling. I mean the roofs are literally on fire and they're screaming in the background. Till next time. But what puts the icing on the cake is when you finally make it to the thick of the town there's a huddle of merchant NPCs just sitting there going, hello traveler would you like to buy some wares today? I mean are you not aware that your foot is on fire right now, ma'am? Maybe it's best this town is taken down by monsters. I feel like escort quests are the bane of most of our virtual existences. I'm already spending my time in games being an errand girl. Now I have to babysit someone that walks at the speed of my grandma when she broke her back. She walks much faster than them currently now that she's all healed and she's 94. And for the sake of all that is good in this gaming world, why in the hell do they get attacked by what would equate to be more monsters than I would normally find out in the normal world? What the hell have they done to actually incite such anger or better yet what are they carting around in this wagon that is so damn desirable yeah. 
Have you ever busted your ass in a dungeon or raid and you've completed it feeling on top of the world? You did great. You deserve the best reward possible for all the work you put into carrying these scrubs to victory. But the RNG Jesus begs to differ due to your past sins. You see that legendary gear you just rolled a 98 on? Well, screw you. The tank that doesn't need it just rolled a 99. I'm pretty sure he just walked out of the dungeon backwards, flipping you off too. I know a lot of you are going to relate hardcore to this next one and have something to say about it, but gender locking is just a major thing in MMOs. I hate when a race is only female or male. I can speak for myself, and you can chastise me if you like, but I like being a pretty girl in games because it helps me create my virtual Barbie doll. And I mean, Dix likes making pretty girls too, to stare at their asses the entire time he plays the game, but still, it motivates him to do better. I just wish games would get the darn hint already and make it open to both genders. As I mentioned before in videos, I'm rather newer to MMOs as I only came into them over the past few years, but from someone who did FPS, you guys sure do have a lot of skills. Either the game has you with over 50 different slots of skills that I quite frankly ran out of keys on the keyboard for that my fingers can actively reach within a suitable amount of time to provide the action. The last time I was this proficient in skills was back in preschool when I colored inside the lines finally. On the other side of the spectrum, you can also only get a few slots and a billion different builds to pick from. If it wasn't for guides, I'd be shitting sparkles and firing meteors from my eyes to no avail. I feel like a lot of us are very creative souls in this genre. So creative that we ended up having to be underscore our name or put a one after it because our names are just not unique enough that somebody has already taken it. It's so frustrating to find how many ways I can slide a zero in for an O or an L for an I or just so I can have the name I originally wanted for the game. I need you people to stop taking my names I so creatively thought up. I'm an individual, you hear me? Have you ever just been standing around in game when the finest piece of transmog you've ever seen runs by you? I bet most of us are guilty of doing the next snap to take a look or even go as far as to chase after the person so you can take a longer gander at their look. Let me steal your outfit. Let me be you. It's a squirrel, it's a dwarf, no, it's a child. Well, whatever you call them, there's a lot of tiny races now in MMOs and they're all amassing to take over the virtual world. They're also harder to keep track of in action combat as they're so dang small. There's only two ways you can handle these tiny beings and that is to either hug them or tell them that they're a pedo. There's only two options that I've ever seen. So it must be true, small for life. Our inventories are where our souls go to die. You're either super organized or you're just like sticks and it's like the game threw up in your bag and then closed itself in. But when you really need that one stupid item to give you that buff for this particular situation, it takes longer than it should to find it in the deep pit that just never seems to have enough room. I don't care how many times you organize the bank or the bag, it just never does the trick. I feel like this battle has been going on longer than the Horde vs. Alliance. I think each one of us have fallen into one of these categories at one point in time in our gaming lives. I'm quite frankly tired of it. Most successful games cater to the majority, which are casuals, but also cater to the elitist, the ones that need that extra challenge to keep them coming back for more. I'm no stranger to being complained about in games and that I'm doing it wrong. Even when I'm only level 10 out of 80, I get both sides though. As a casual coming into games, I want to have fun, but once I get to higher levels, I do get a little elitist and dislike when somebody joins that doesn't know what they're doing. Which one are you? So that wraps up part two of Relatables for now. Hopefully you can relate to some of these things. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and also let me know if I left something off the list. This was Mrs. Sticks, signing off for now. Bye!